Hello friends, welcome to lecture number 8 that is element identification methods in Selenium WebDriver. In this lecture you will learn what are the different element location strategies that can be used in Selenium to identify the elements and what's the difference between find element and find elements. So there are 8 ways in which you can identify the elements in Selenium and that is by using ID of the element, name of the element, tag name of the element, class name of the element link text, partial link text and finally XPath and CSS lo locators or the selectors so this last two XPath and CSS selectors we, we will be I will be covering this XPath and CSS locators in next lecture so in this lecture we will just focus on the first six element locators and then we will also look at the difference between find element and find elements so to demonstrate this I have got one test method that is test locators and over there what I've done is I have navigated to this particular URL selenium test page and then I have found the element text box element using the ID attribute and uh, I'll explain you how you can do that so we are navigating to this web page softforce.org slash selenium dash test dash page and over there we have got one form so let us say you want to identify this text box for that what you have to do is just right click on that uh, element and then click on inspect and on the right hand side or the bottom side of the screen you will find this html source of that particular element and as you put your mouse on that element that will be highlighted as you can see that element is highlighted and you can also look at the source of that element like that tag name of the element then attributes of that element so this element has got one attribute called as id and its value is fn so that any element that has got the id can be found in the cell name using the id location strategy so that's why we have used this id fn and then send keys method is used to send the data in that particular text box then we have used class name to identify the entry title element or here we have got one element h1 element his tag is h1 and uh, his, uh, it has got class as entry dash title so we have used that class name to identify the element what we are doing is just getting the text of that element then we have identify another element using name so as you can see this gender male this element has got the name attribute and that name attribute is being used over here so all you have to do is just inspect the element and look for the attributes so any element that has got the id attribute can be found using the id attribute then any element that has got a class name can be uh, found using class name similarly you can find the element that has got name using this particular name and this tag name is very generic like you can identify the elements based upon the HTML tag. For example, if you want to find out first TD, you can use the TD tag. Then if you want to first uh, find out first TR, you can use TR. Then to find the first div, you can use div. Similarly, you can find every tag or every element using based upon the tag name like H1, etc. What we are done is uh, here is that we have found the first input tag element and then send data into that because I know that input element has got it's nothing but a text box then link text and partial link text this particular location strategies are used to identify only the links for example over here we have got various links git gradle intelligence cucumber etc link text is used uh, when you uh, you want to both link text and partial link text are used to identify the links but main difference between these two is that in case of link text you have to give the full uh, link text like git or in this case ios automation using apm but in case of partial link text you don't need to give the full name of the link you can give the partial link name for example in this case ios automation using apm instead of giving entire text you can just give ios automation like that and then it will identify the element so that's the difference between the partial link text and the link text so here you can notice that i have given the partial link text as kukum and it will click on cucumber because it matches the partial link text so that is how you can identify the elements in selenium so i'm just gonna execute this code mm. 
and what it will do is it will enter hello in the first name edit box then as you can see it entered user then it is clicking on git link and then finally it will click on click on cucumber link using the partial link text location slash so in this particular test method what we did is we use this find element method and main difference between the f find element and find elements is that in the in this case it just returns for one element even if say there are 10 elements for example in this web page there are many elements whose tag is input but this particular find element method returns just the first input element so if you want to get all the elements then you can use find elements method and I got one test method for that as you can see over here I have used find elements note this s over there what I have done is I have found all the elements whose tag name is e that is links and it returns the read only collection so you need to use this particular class and it returns the collection of the type web element after they are getting the uh, collection what I am doing here is I am printing the total number of links using links.count and uh, finally I am also printing the text of the each link so I am just gonna execute this particular code all it is doing is uh, going to that particular URL homepage of the softpost.org then printing the total number of links or the a tags and finally it is also printing the text displayed in those tags so the test execution is finished and if you look at the output you can notice that there are 389 links over there and it has just printed the text displayed in each link some of the links are empty so that's why it is printed blank so that is how you can use the different different location strategies in selenium to find the elements and that ends our lecture number eight in the next lecture we will be looking at xpath and css thanks for watching this video